First of all, I'd like to acknowledge some of our most distinguished guests for their endeavors to advance world peace and human prosperity. Former President of Australia, Heinz Fischer, former Prime Minister of Australia, Malcolm Turnbull, former Prime Minister of Japan, Yukio Hatoyama, former Foreign Minister of People's Republic of China, Li Zhaozi. Thank you for being here, and I owe you my special thanks. I'm also high, delighted to welcome all the distinguished guests, both local and abroad, as well as the citizens who would share ideas to promote prosperous and peaceful Asia. Thank you. Distinguished guests from local and abroad, our world is now facing serious peacelessness challenges. This include natural hazard triggered by climate change, ocean contamination caused by leading rest waste, and transnational air pollution due to elusive particulate matter. They have become global risks because they pose a greater threat than ever human survival and peace. In other words, our world is recognized peace has become inclusive of areas other than just national security. This is why Teju is trying to realize this new peace by shifting to the widened concept. Accordingly, the range of peace discourse in this Teju forum is not limited merely to traditional security issues, but expanded to a variety of fields such as economy, culture, environment, etc. By the way, I proposed at the Jeju Forum 2015 peace from healing. There is a gift from clean Jeju nature. Peace from tolerance that we gain by being inclusive of multiple values and interests. And peace in energy that directs us to achieve peace in the entire energy process from generation to consumption. Along those lines, we are advancing carbon-free island 2030 projects where all our power generation will shift to alternative energy and our passenger vehicles will be replaced by electric ones. Recently, we commit ourselves in tackling the transnational issue of fine dust and push forward a dust free change campaign. Jeju is proud of its blue sky, fresh air, and clean natural environment. It is an environment treasure island endorsed by UNESCO. We have set clean and coexistence as a future vision of Jeju to boost this resilience of environment and ecosystem. We will make our effort with confidence and commitment in both expanding and sharing the new values and experiences of our own with the world as well as the central government of South Korea. Distinguished guests from local and abroad. As you know, the Jeju Forum introduced the as its theme for this year, Asia Towards Resilient Peace, Cooperation and Integration. Resilient peace is an effective way to turn insecure peace into a secured one and to find a balance point to realize sustainable coexistence even under secret crisis. In their heart, Jeju people have the deepest wounds that remain from the turmoil of the Cold War 71 years ago. Countless innocent lives were lost and many communities were destroyed. But the Jeju people have stuck together in order to resolve the division and conflict of the every third incident in a spirit of reconciliation and coexistence. The government of South Korea acknowledged the Jeju people as having been overcoming the painful history of the April 3rd incident and commemorated this by enlisting Jeju Island as an 
Island of World Peace in 2005. This is served as a momentum for the Jewish government and citizens to share the belief that we are all victims of the painful history of the every third incident and to make efforts to realize the resilient peace through which we feel tolerance for each other and heal together. Since it is resolved in the April 3rd incident, Jeju made the case of advancing reconciliation and coexistence as well as peace and human rights through tolerance and healing. I anticipate the case of Jeju to exemplify by the modest opponent for Asia to establish vigilant peace in Asia. Distinguished guests from local and abroad, North Korea's denuclearization issue is probably the biggest risk to global security. Unprecedented summits at such short interval have brought us hope that North Korea will declare its denuclearization and the international community should take part in initiating a denuclearization process. But the second summit between North Korea and U.S. held in Hanoi, Vietnam, and with the so-called Hanoi No Deal. The core condition of determining nuclear deal is truthfulness. It has been demonstrated that dialogue without truthfulness cannot solve a nuclear puzzle. This is the denuclearization that will guarantee North Korea its regime security and help North Koreans to meet the basic necessities of life and live as human beings. On top of it all, the international community will provide North Korea with support and cooperation to boost its economy. I cannot stress enough the importance of the North Korea's denuclearization. It will determine the future of North Korea. It will spare the peace process on the Korean Peninsula. I call on North Korean leader Kim Jong-un to make a truthful resolution on denuclearization. We, two Koreas and the international community, will bravely and patiently support North Korea's denuclearization and be committed to helping with this normalization. Jeju will actively take part in this move. Jeju special self-governing provincial government has been the first among Korean local governments to pioneer inter-Korean exchanges by means of vitamin C diplomacy. As Jeju has been playing a leading role in inter-Korean exchanges, this year we will invite North Korea to join this Jeju forum. So that it can provide the opportunity to start a great new chapter of establishing a peace process in the Korean Peninsula. <laughs> Distinguished guests from Rockland the Award, the forum began in 2001. So it has been uh, almost 20 years since its birth. During this period, period, many influential global leaders of politics, academics, and business all around eight countries have taken part here. This has become a modern public forum representing South Korea where the agenda of peace and prosperity is discussed. The forum will be a center stage in Asia on which collective response is based on extended peace concept take place to deal with new peace threats, including, including climate change, ocean contamination, and fine dust, as well as the traditional security threats, such as nuclear weapons and missiles. Particular, with a new peace concept in mind, peace from theory, peace from tolerance, and peace in energy.
will preserve the environmental treasure island where environment management can coexist. Also, we will not forget to play our role as an island of world peace. I hope all of you will enjoy the spring spring of clean blue jazz during your stay in this environment treasure island. Thank you very much.